is small C surgery. <laughs> This is Taylor Swift. Please say hello to Taylor Swift. In Small Z Surgery on Nova. It's the one and only Hello Taylor Swift. Hello. Welcome back to Australia. I feel like you should move here already. Really? Yeah. Why do you feel like that? Well, because you were here earlier this year. Yeah. You did amazing shows everywhere in Australia and now you're back again. I'm here all the time. I can't stay away. No, you can't. And that's why I think you should quite frankly, move here. I, I, and, you, and we're so friendly here in Australia because everyone knows you as Taylor Swift, but everyone makes up nicknames for you. Everyone, yes. Australia is where I have my most nicknames. So I need to ask you, can I refer to you as T-Swizzle? Yes. Is that a, a, of ta- course. Tay-Tay? Tay-Tay. Yeah, Tay-Tay. And Swifty. And Swifty. Those okay. are like the three, I think. All right, I'm going to roll with those uh, mm-hmm. tonight here on the show. Uh, now, obviously, i got to say, first up, congratulations. The brand new album, Red, uh, is not only incredible and it's got so many great songs on it, it, it's breaking records all over the shop. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it's been unreal. The fans have made this such an insane, amazing experience for me, putting out this new record. And I was really happy about that because it's a very different record than anything I've put out before. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really stoked. Does T-Swizzle get nervous before that Red album came out? Were you a little bit like, I hope people like it, I hope people get where I'm coming from and what I'm talking about? Yeah, because, you know, when you're making changes to what you do and you're, yeah. like, taking risks and stuff, you... Uh, people, you know, people are either going to celebrate that and be like, yeah, you took risks. Or they're going to be like, why did you change it? We liked it <laughs> the yeah. way it was. Do you, find, <laughs> do you find people get angry at you? Because obviously, like the Taylor Swift that we've like come to love, it started with Love Story and a whole bunch of other songs. And now as you're growing, your, your music grows as well. Are there some people who are like, Taylor, I want you to stay as a child? <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I'm lucky because I well, I put out my first record when I was like 16. Yeah. Um, I wasn't like nine. No. You know, so Has... I've always been kind of like they got to know me when I was a teenager. And yeah. Now I'm only like 22, so there hasn't been that much time that's passed. But it, it's nice that people have been so open-minded to me taking risks musically and like trying new things and working with new people, um, because my music is sounding different these days than it mm. did when I first started out, and I'm happy about that. And I think my fans have like embraced it too. Well, Swifty, I got to tell you, we're liking what we <laughs> hear. Um, tell me this. I remember I spoke to you earlier this year. It was just after the Grammys, and you were just like, "Oh, it was huge," and you were excited. And I said, "You look stunning," and I didn't think things could get much better for you than it was earlier this year, right? But I got to tell you, now after the AMAs last week, I've never seen you looking happier and more confident and more vibrant. Really? Ab- absolutely. And I wanted, you. and I just wanted to know, to know where does that come from? Is that kind of is it is it a place where you're happy musically? Is it a pa- place you're happy personally? Or are you just like, I don't care for the rubbish anymore. I'm just going to do what I want to do. Well, thank you so much for saying that. I think I'm just happy in, in a lot of aspects of my life right now. Like, mm-hmm. I just, I'm I'm really very content with the way things are. And, like, I don't know why um, things with this album just feel, like, really natural. And, yeah. and just, I'm, I'm really, really loving life right now. And yeah, no, and as you should, it's almost your birthday. It's time to get ready to party. I'm almost 23. I know. What are you doing for your birthday? I don't have any plans yet. Oh, please. You're Taylor Swift. It is coming up in like two weeks. Tay-Tay, if you don't have plans for your birthday, and it's only literally like two weeks away, how can anyone else have plans? I would think that you're just like, i got to have a big party. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe like, um, maybe friends or someone will like, be like, hey, your birthday's in a week. Let's go out to dinner. And I'll be like, okay. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. You know, that makes you a Sagittarius, right? Mm-hmm. You know I'm an Aries, and they say that Aries and Sagittarius are best friends. Really? They said that. Who said that? The internet. Just they, they just the, inter- <laughs> the internet said that once. They said that. They said that. The way I wish people could see the way that you. <laughs> they said that. And I'm thinking that if you're ever going to come back to Australia, we should be friends. Uh, we are friends. We, we already are friends. Do you want to hang around? Because I've got more questions that I need to yes, ask you. Yes, because we're friends. Taylor Swift co-hosting the show with me tonight. It's official. I'm now her best Australian friend. Uh, because the internet said, said so. so. Yes. <laughs> if you got a question for Taylor tonight on Twitter, the hashtag is Taylor Swift and Smallsy. Uh, I'm just going to roll through them. You answer however you need to answer, all right? Okay. Bangs McGee wants to know, is there any plans in the future to create your own recipe book? Us fans are dying to try your famous cookies and pumpkin bread. 
Wow, um, that's hilarious and very sweet. Yes. I don't think right now I'm thinking about that. Well, you need to get on that. I do need to get on that. Um, but yeah, no, I just kind of bake whenever I am, like, whenever I have a day off and I want to relax. Yeah. So, how nice, though. That's the, lovely. Hey, uh, Claire wants to know the top three things that you can't live without when you're on tour. My phone. Yep. Like, running shoes. Okay. And, um... Mm-hmm. You could oh. say food because you couldn't live without food. Uh, camera. I take oh. pictures. You take photos everywhere? Yeah, I take photos of everything. Uh, Liv's a Swifty is her at Twitter name. I'm guessing she's a big fan. Uh, she says, you teach us that we can be strong, independent, and honest, which I completely agree with. But who taught you, Taylor Swift? That's so sweet. Um, I think my mom is the reason for a lot of the aspects of my personality. Um, she's really, really, she's a really strong person. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, and and really really honest <laughs> she's the one who will tell me like um no don't do that and you know you have to have people around you who will tell you you're you know like right now you're acting like a brat or right now you need to like you need to like like have perspective in the sure. right place yep. you can't have people around you who just tell you that you're awesome all the time no i can imagine because <clears> that would you just be kind of stuck in a world of thinking that you're awesome all the yeah, time and that's when people just kind of like start taking everything for granted yeah for sure the downfall Do you, tell me when you go back home taylor swift because you obviously the, the stats are incredible i mean th- there's no one denying the amount of grammys and the awards when you go back home are you just like Taylor Swift that you were when you were at high school and you go and you have your small room and it's probably still got like a Barbie on a horse on a shelf or is that not me? Well now I live in um, my own apartment. Oh no of course yeah but when you go back home like to mum or dad's. Oh well um I mean everything's different like like Mm -hmm. I guess like my brother's off at school now. Yeah, right. and But, I mean, I think in my own head, I'm kind of the same. Yes. You never really change no. your perception of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the album, <clears throat> it's uh, called Red. It's in stores now. It's on iTunes. Seriously, uh, get a copy of it if you haven't. There's so many songs on it, including Australia Has a Love Affair with Ed Sheeran, too. So the, the moment we heard the song that you two were working together and that the story goes correctly that you were sitting on your kitchen floor and you made him an apple pie and you wrote songs. Yeah, that's a moment, right? It was so much fun. Yeah. We like wrote songs all day and uh, my friends came over and we baked and made dinner and it was so much fun. And my friends all love Ed. Like yeah. he's so much fun. He's hilarious. He's got time for everybody, which I think is what every, like everyone loves him. It doesn't matter what music like genre or community you're from. He's got friends who are rappers. He's got friends that are pop stars. It's just because he's literally so down to earth, yeah, right? Yeah, he's so grounded. I don't know. He works so hard. Hey, Taylor Swift, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. It's been a pleasure. I can't wait to see you performing at the Arias on Thursday night. And then one final question. Any plans to bring the world tour for Red here to Australia? I have plans in my mind to do that. Okay. Would you care to vocalise them? Considering I think tonight we've established that we are best friends via the internet. Which means I can tell you, like... Nothing. After we're not on the radio because okay. I can't like announce anything but I definitely for me like Australia is such an important place like yep. it's always going to be in my heart and I, I think that for me I always see us bringing the tours to Australia well we can't wait to see you again and thank you so much for hanging out tonight I of appreciate course. it of course great to see you Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast for more great shows like this head to novapodcast.com.au